She is the Nobel Peace Prize winner, promoted as Myanmar's great democratic hope. And when Aung San Suu Kyi came to power last year, after elections ended decades of military rule, the country celebrated. It wasn't only Buddhists. Some in the minority Muslim Rohingya community also believed that after years of persecution, their lives would get better. But that hasn't happened. Segregated and not recognised as citizens, the Rohingya don't feel they're part of Myanmar's move towards democracy. And despite more than a week of reports of murder, rape, torture and the burning of homes in Rakhine State, Suu Kyi, who has long fought for human rights, has refused to explicitly condemn what's happening. Her office released details of a phone call with the Turkish president on Tuesday, saying her government defends all people in Rakhine State, but also talks about what's described as fake news, saying there's been a huge iceberg of misinformation calculated to create a lot of problems. Even so, international criticism is growing. This is a human rights catastrophe, and in the face of extreme violence and displacement, we have seen her not only just be silent, but her office has oftentimes put out uh, very caustic uh, descriptions of the people who are fleeing this violence and who have suffered this violence. The UN's Special Envoy for Human Rights in Myanmar says it's time for Suu Kyi to step in, and fellow Nobel Peace Prize winner Malala Yousafzai has called on her to condemn the violence. For some in Myanmar, there is little sympathy for the Rohingya. Aung San Suu Kyi draws some of her support from Buddhist nationalists who view them as illegal immigrants. This protest last month called for the military to take control in Rakhine State. Suu Kyi's refused to allow UN investigators access to the region. But while criticism of her grows, Suu Kyi does not have control over Myanmar's military, with which she's agreed to share power. Aung San Suu Kyi gets all the international flack, as we see this week. Min Aung Lang, General, senior General Min Aung Lang, the head of the Burmese army, is unknown to the outside world. He is the guy who is calling the shots in Rakhine State. That's where the, uh, the, the international criticism should be directed, at the man who has the power to stop it. As the crisis grows, each day of inaction further damages Suu Kyi's image as a human rights champion. A leader who once inspired millions, now accused of being unable or unwilling to stop the persecution of the Rohingya. Duncan Crawford, Al Jazeera.